Hello. In this video I will modify my previous tutorial number 12 to work with jQuery. Now unlike Zen Dojo, that is a part of the core, jQuery has a very limited support from the framework, so a number of things you will have to do manually. The jQuery uh, shares a lot of the concepts with uh, Dojo. Uh, for example, the first thing you still have to do is to enable the jQuery's view helpers in the view. But, because the jQuery is not a part of the core Zen Framework library, it's a part of the extra, we have to install the extra libraries that come in Zen Framework. The extra libraries from Zen Framework are inside of the extras directory of the Framework installation folder. Extras library Zendx. So you want Zendx to be a part of your library. So not only do you want Zend, you also want Zendx. And we will do that uh, just like before by sim linking the Zendx folder to our we are going to sim link Zendx directory in our library folder. Okay, so now the Zend Extra is available to us in the project. I will refresh the project so that it's available now. Okay, and with that, I will be able to use the jQuery's libraries from Zend. jQuery. So just like in the Dojo's tutorial, um, I am enabling the jQuery's view helper in the view object. Unfortunately, Zen Framework does not come with a bundled jQuery library, uh, so we have to download it ourselves. Uh, we need uh, three components, the jQuery itself, the jQuery user interface and a theme file and unlike in Dojo, jQuery has a quite an extensive number of themes. So before that we are going to create a folder in public for jQuery. So remember it got to be in public so that the web browser can access it. And notice that how I have the JavaScripts in a separate JS folder of public. That way I can organize my Java script libraries better. So this is where I'm going to save all my jQuery stuff. And uh, I am going to pick a theme that best fits my blue background. And I think Redmond does the job. So I will download that. And I will leave all the components selected. I'm going to select 1.72, which comes with the latest jQuery already, so I don't have to get them all separately. They'll come in a single zip file. Download that. And put it in my JS jQuery folder. It's a zipped file, so all I have to do is just extract it. And this is my jQuery, the jQuery user interface, and the Redmond CSS. Okay, so now I got to tell the layout about this new structure. I will also refresh my Aptana project. So over in the layout, I am going to also check if jQuery is enabled. And then I am going to set the paths for the jQuery, jQuery user interface and the style sheet. So first I'm going to do the local path for the jQuery, which has similar structure, the base URL, so that the browser knows where to look for it. And then the jQuery folder that we just extracted.
now for the user interface which UI local path so unlike in Dojo where everything is in one single library you have to specify both for jQuery and same deal here the base URL jQuery UI now what some developers prefer doing is just leaving the version numbers out so that the program can seamlessly pick up new versions but I don't like that because it gives you the potential danger of having unpredicted versions that are not tested and finally I am going to add the style sheet for the Redmond theme that I selected Okay, and finally I am going to echo out J query. So to see what that looks like, I am going to review the page as is. I'm going to take out the previous Dojo examples I have here, and I'll check what the code looks like for the page.